Well, now it's time for acoustic guitar. Here uh, I have my compressor already initialized. Remember our threshold on the top, ratio 4 to 1, 3 to 1, most of the time that may work. Zero makeup gain, attack and release and medium, and my knees at half position too. Well, let's hear uh, our guitar, in this case acoustic. Okay, now acoustic guitars usually have a lot of dynamics, a lot of dynamics. So we don't want to, to take away all those dynamics, we only want to control them. And so we are going to use the, the typical approach we will be, that we have be, been using. So uh, let's start by uh, lowering the threshold until we start listening to the compression. the difference. Maybe a little more. Now, the next part is going to be my attack. And listen to the difference, to the changes. A fast attack. I have a softer sound with less attack. Here it is. So here we are at that point. What do we want? We want a softer guitar sound or more attack uh, in the in the rhythmic parts of the guitar. So it's a matter of taste as always. Let's try it. This is not bad, but I just want to go for a kind of hard compression to really tame the transients. Now it's uh, time for the release. Let's let's check it out. Fast release. More aggressive compression. Lower, it's more uniform sound. Did you, did, did you get that? It's more uniform, and this is more aggressive. Actually, in this case, maybe you can notice that the volume goes up and down really fast. That's called pumping, and that's something we usually don't want because it sounds like a bad compression. So, this is too fast, I don't want pumping, I want more even sound. Maybe lower attack is too fast. I think that's better. As you see, we have to be uh, adjusting our controls uh, simultaneously in, in some time. So, finally, apply some makeup gain. I'm reducing around four or five. That's what I'm compensating here. Look at the dynamics at the output. They are more controlled than in the input. Look, there are parts really low and some somehow high it's more control so no compression we have more volume more consistency so there we go in this case we apply a uh, little compression maybe I would go for less compression in a real mixing situation but actually to know this we would need to hear the guitar in the context of the whole mix 
I mean, we need to, we would need to hear it with the bass and the drums and everything else to decide if that's enough compression or we need more. That's very important. When you are mixing, you need to hear the process within the mix to, to take the, the final decision.